Hey, Jay, can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Yep. Hey, sorry, my phone's messing up. Sorry, I missed your call there. Hey, um, I just wanted to go ahead with those chains if you can make a set. Um, so we can probably just pick up the skid steer tires because um, you already have them in stock and cut, right? Sure. Uh, okay, yep. and then the backhoe tires, you need to cut those? Yeah. Okay, yep. did you have that dimension? I think it was 17 and a half by 24. Does that sound right? Yeah, it sounds right, yep. Okay, perfect. Yeah, okay. if you want to get those cut up, we'll come by and grab them. We'll do, okay. Thanks, Jay. Thank you. That's what happens when you walk around with a camera on all the time. You never know what you're going to catch. I'm good now. You dressed yet? I'm good. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. You want to play in the snow? Heck yes, I do. You're going to want some bigger boots for that. Wow, I don't have bigger boots. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. You're right? going to want bigger boots. Go for it. Uh, here, I'll step in your footprint. <laughs> Can I just dump this right here? Uh, sure. Ah! Dump it right here, then go. I'll bury it. Ready, go. We don't even have to step down to go out of our cabin right now. You what just you walk mean? straight out. Why is the Subaru parked there? What's the, what the heck? What's the Subaru doing? Yeah. It's like we went to dinner last night and tried to come up the driveway in a foot, a half, foot and a half oh, yeah. of snow. Whoa, look at the outhouse. The sun came out, it's blue sky. Our timber frame videos published. It's good yes, we can have our lives back. Wow. And guess what? The tire store is making chains for the backhoe. Heck yes. You know what that means? Gonna go get them. We're gonna go plow some snow. These are my I plowed recently boots. And these are the I haven't plowed in a really long time boots. That's almost, that's, that's kneecap deep right there. Wow. Oh, <laughs> where's the Ford? Forget the Subaru, where'd, the, where'd we put the truck at? All right, backhoe. <laughs> we gotta find you first. Then we get to see how good you plow snow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice, the whole truck bed's full of snow. Holy cow. Look at these snow cliffs. Ah, watch out! Wow. <laughs> oh wow, oh wow. I can't resist. I have to see what the view from our living room will look like in the snow. Because it might look different than without snow. It's only one way to know. Whoa, I'm gonna get up here. Ooh, wow. It's pretty crazy that one day when our house is all finished and spiffy looking on the inside <laughs> that once upon a time our house on the living level had about a foot and a half of snow on top of it wow here's the loft isn't that something
Yeah. If we had kids, I know. it'd be game on right now. Do you need kids to like have fun in the snow? How old do you think a kid has to be before you can like, in good conscience, hit him with a snowball? Six months? Uh, Nine months? Easily by a year. A year, you think? Yeah. I think so. Not like in the face. Oh, but. right. Below, above the belt, but below the neck. Nice. <laughs> Not bad. I see why you were in track. Exactly. Future children, if you're watching this video, you do not have to worry about your mother hitting you with a snowball. You're safe. She can't barely hit an outhouse, so as long as your profile is smaller than an outhouse, you're safe. Uh-oh. See? You're good. My phone, my phone isn't letting us fly very hard, very far. I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. It's, it's setting a limit on how high we can go and how far we can go, which is not very far and not very high. So here's Jesse working on his hacking skills or something like that. Did you get it? Yeah, my phone is. The cars, if we can get the car out yet, like I didn't get, I should have probably t done more to get the car out before I came clear down here. See, this is slicker. Yeah. I just skated all the way to the bottom. I didn't even drive. I was just yeah. sliding the whole way because I can't get through this. I might be able to plow my way up. That's actually something I could try really quick. Let me, let me do that real quick. Wow, can you guys see this? Look at all this fog just rolling into our valley right here. It's so pretty. I can't even tell you. As fun as it's been editing the timber frame workshop videos, which by the time you see this video, we published the timber frame raising last night. It feels so good to just be out in the daylight again. I've literally been editing video every single day for about six weeks. That's why it's ice underneath right there. There's pure ice on the ground. That's why you can't get down to the dirt.
Ah, uh, for real? What's up with that? Wow, that's how you work up a sweat. Man, so hot. Oh, cool. Yep. Off to the races. Yeah, we got to get moving. Sun's okay. about to go behind the mountain. All right, so. let's go. Let's do it. We're back from town. It was a much longer trip than we had planned on. Do explain more, please. The people want to know more. Well, it'll be self-explanatory when I open it, but based on its weight and its cost, it's I think what's inside here is gold. Like for real, for real. Are you just gonna open it? Yeah. What was the first clue that this is not made in America? It's, it's the, built well. The quality of packaging. <laughs> I think that this should become a feature of our house. You know it's expensive because it doesn't have the price on it. <laughs> right, they assume if you're asking about price. Wrong this, customer. That's not for you. Holy cow! Oh my gosh. That's insane. <laughs> I don't know. We might have to use a get a crane to lift these. To Even I'm impressed. Wow. Wow. Are those plastic? <laughs> Wouldn't that just be like the best scam ever? I don't think there's any way to show you the scale on these buggers. Oh, there is. Here's my hand. Yeah. This looks like something that you would put somebody who's in death row on that you don't want to escape. Like this, this is not like taking risk kind of chain, it's for real men. Should we keep going or have I taken it apart enough, do you think? These chains are like over a hundred pounds per piece. As in like this whole box is well over 200 pounds. The question is not can we get them out, it's can we get them out without damaging the car. <laughs> I know, right? We have like a blank wall. Yeah. We have a wool blanket we put down. Yep. I feel like I'm pulling the car. Is that normal? Well, Do you want to just keep them from hitting the car? Yeah. Here, I'll hold this. You want to try to get some chains? <sighs> lift up, lift up more than you pull out. I think you should be required to pass some sort of like physical exam before you buy these. Now comes the fun part where we attempt to install it. Because it's a backhoe, we have outriggers, so I can actually lift the rear of the backhoe, put it in forward, and the tires will just spin and it'll pull the chain right up onto the tire. So we don't have to drive. We can just lift it up, turn it, put it in forward, and then we turn it off. You can put it in forward yeah. just for a moment okay. and I'll say when just put it back in neutral very good gonna need more light to solve some of that so wow this is so gnarly yeah these uh these chains are frightening In fact, I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure because this side right here 
all it has is this shackle. Okay. And you like shackle it and you're done. But the other side has this really complex like yeah. chain looping thing. Okay. So I think this chain goes on the other side. We would do that. After all that. It's a good practice run, right? Yeah. waste two hours of your life yeah in the night with your head under the guillotine back though <laughs> so they don't fit first of all second of all they're the wrong chain so we paid for a very specific chain and while these chains we do like they're not the chain we paid for and yeah. we paid a lot of money for a chain so we're gonna take these chains back tomorrow and see if we can figure out what's going on I think we gave it our best shot. We tried really hard to get these chains to work. We put in a lot of time. Yeah. And I think we got them really close, but they weren't right. They didn't fit correctly. But we do have some chains for the front. So we're gonna try to put those on there. I guess we'd like to find out tonight if those don't fit too. And then maybe we can get the back out of the top of the hill tonight. And then tomorrow we'll pick up and see if we can get some chains to work. That was much easier. Um, yeah, I'm having a hard time getting it the tightness that I want though, so yeah, it's easier, but I'm not sure it's better. They yeah. look like they fit too. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're the right size, but getting it the right tension, that's, that's not, I mean, it's very easy to install. Most tire chains really are, like, the only reason a car sucks is because of the fenders. You know, this is obviously really easy because you can get to the whole chain. Yeah. <laughs> 